Oh God, I can hear it now. You're a disgrace to S1000 owners. If you wanted to go fast in a straight line, you should have got a ZX10. You should have got a Jixxer 1000. You shouldn't be doing that to an S1000. It's a track bike. Hey, look, man. Get out the way. You got a watch. You got the time. I'm raising the clock. Even in my feelings, grind don't stop. Got big dreams, want big rocks. I got plans. I got talk. That is real cheap, but it's really good. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy N31LE and today we got something a little bit different. So we're putting on the Brox straps for the S1000. Now the reason why I'm doing this is not because I want to go fast in a straight line only on this bike. The S1000, especially tuned by BT Moto on E85 has a lot of issues with wheeling. this bike but I also track this bike as well now for it to roll race it's very hard to keep the front wheel on the ground and obviously you know if you can't keep the front wheel on the ground in a roll race you're gonna lose so the reason why I'm strapping it is for that reason I want this bike to be good at everything so when I'm done roll racing I can just release the strap it goes back to a normal height bike I'm not lowering it I'm not uh, extending it it's gonna be stock wheel base it's gonna be stock height Everything needed to just revert back to the track once I hit the button and release the strap. So we're going to put these straps on today, see how they look, see how they operate, and then we're going to do some roll racing this weekend. All right, so you're going to start with a Torx T50 and you're going to take these two bolts out. Now try not to remove the caliper because all you're doing is just putting this bracket on. Now do the same thing for this side. Now, if you got the BT Moto brackets, go ahead and grab a six millimeter hex key and take this bolt out. I'm gonna put this buckle on the left side. So go ahead and screw this back in. And you don't want to tighten it down just yet. Now, go ahead and loosen up the uh, other side. So you don't want it to interfere with any of your brake lines. So route it this way and route it up through the holes and through the center of the bike. All right, so as you can see, it's coming up through here. And it's a little bit loose down there. I'm gonna tighten that in a second. You want to route it around the front of the uh, triple tree around the brake lines and then down not over this so between the frame and the other side of the wheel so make sure that everything's straight nothing's like kinked or twisted go ahead and take this bolt out and grab your strap and then put the bolt in
Now you can leave it loose so that way when you pull everything tight, it's all gonna orient itself the right way. So now that everything's on there, you just wanna pull it tight. So go down here and grab this strap and just start pulling everything tight. So now that that's done, now we get our zip ties. All right, so I wasn't exactly too thrilled with the strap going over these um, wires or brake lines right here. So I ended up just routing it under the brake line and under all this stuff. So if you wanna do that, do that, but I just didn't want it to rub on anything and possibly hurt anything. So I routed it under. All right, so go up to the center of the bike, pull everything as tight as it'll go. And wherever these sit naturally is where you want to tighten them on at. All right, so that's good. That one's good, they're not moving. All right, so now that everything's together, they give you two zip ties. And what you're gonna wanna do is, the easiest thing I found to do is zip tie around the original strap right here, and this is the handle that you pull on. So I zip tied that and just zip tied the handle to that, so that way this handle doesn't go flying somewhere or like get trapped in the wheel or something like that. So whenever I'm not racing, I can just tuck that down there and it, it's fine. But whenever I am racing, I can just go like this, pull up, strap down the bike and call it a day. So zip tie that and call it a day. All right, so with the straps installed, it's as easy as, there it is. And now you got your front end able to stay down. And to release it, all you've got to do is just hit the button right here, and it comes back up. Simple as that. And that's how you install the Brox adjustable straps on the BMW S1000 RR. If you like today's video, hit the like button. Also, subscribe to this channel, that way whenever I drop any new content, you'll be the first to know. If you have any comments, drop them down below. Remember, I'm here for you guys, so anything you want to see, let me know and I'll make the video for you. Thanks for tuning in.